Googlebot got a major update and now we can upload images inside of Googlebot. Well, Googlebot announced about this feature on May 10, 2023 that you will be able to include images along with text in your prompts allowing you to boost your imagination and creativity in a completely new way. But we didn't receive this update. But now on July 7th, Googlebot got this update. And first of all, you will notice uh, the change in Googlebot's interface. As you can see, on the left side, we have our chat histories and on the top left corner, we have the settings. And from here, you can also navigate to Google other products. And if we click on this plus icon, now we have an option to upload our files. Right now, it can only support JPEG, PNG and web page files. So I'm going to upload this picture. So I'm going to ask Googlebot, what's in this image? The image you sent me shows a red Jeep Wrangler driving down a dirt road. The road is dusty and winding and the Jeep is kicking up the lot of dust. So it actually provided the correct information what's going on with this picture. So this time I uploaded this picture and asked it to fetch the text out of it. So basically this is the thumbnail of my previous videos, uh, one of my previous videos and it fetched the text out of it. So the text is world's first text to vector AI is here, planet AI. It gathered the exact information what's going on in the picture. So the actual text in the picture is world's first text to vector AI is here. And here is my logo. So now I'm gonna upload that same picture. So basically this is a PNG file and I asked Googlebot to convert this file into a JPEG. Uh, it came up with this message. I'm a just language model so I can't help you with that. So it can only read images right now. It can change the information in the images as we have seen in uh, Code Interpreter that ChatGPT have just launched. So this time I'm gonna upload this picture of a bulldog and I'm gonna ask it to tell me about the breed of this dog. Okay, so it told that the dog in this image is a bulldog. More specifically, it might be one of the following breeds. So it also gave us some images of bulldogs, Australian bulldog, and it's providing the correct information about the images. So now I'm gonna ask it to write me some funny captions about this same breed. Okay, so now it provided some captions about that image. Bulldog is so chill, he's practically a rock. This bulldog is a photogenic, he could be a model. Well, this is not bad actually. One more thing that I want to test out, I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so now I have uploaded a picture of this single page website layout. Uh, so I'm curious about this, is it able to generate code for this? So I'm gonna ask it to generate code for this. So it came up with this message that sorry, I can't. So there was a person in this image, so that's why it came up with message. Like, sorry, I can't help you with this image of people yet. So I'm gonna upload the picture without person and let's see. So now I have uploaded this image and I use the same prompt, generate a HTML and CSS code to make website like this. So let's see. Okay, so surprisingly it provided us a HTML and CSS code for this. So let's run this code and see is it working or not. Okay, so I used W3School to run this code and I pasted all of this code. So this is the output where we can see only the image and we can see some tabs uh, over here. I think it used the image from unsplash.com. As you can see, uh, we have the URL of unsplash.com and we have the titles like start bootstrap stylish portfolio or services and all of this uh, text is generated, but this is not as appealing as our input image, uh, but still it generated something. So here we have a link. Uh, okay, so this is a clickable link. Let's click on that. Okay, so it's redirecting to the mail, email. So this is an interesting thing that Googlebot can do. And we can create a new website, a whole new website by just providing an image. So OpenAI was also claiming that uh, GPT-4 will be able to do this same thing that we can upload image to GPT-4 and it will uh, generate the website by just based on that image. Uh, but I don't know, code interpreter is uh, able to do that or not. So if you guys have tried that out, let me know in the comment section. So that was a quick update about Googlebot and I think this is a really big update and in our future videos, we will be doing some more interesting things with this feature. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. So that's it from this video and if you guys find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.